Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, all our viewers across the globe, a very namaste. Welcome to the studios of M4 in Melbourne. All the world on a great shock. Everywhere the same single word, COVID-19. The impact which this COVID-19 has created, it's uncountable. Every part of the world is being affected. Has it been? really a biggest intelligence failure in the human history no one knows by the time by the time the world came to know about this covid 19 it has crossed each each and every borders from united states to afghanistan from india to australia from united king kingdom to every parts of the world it has been affected there's no special place where you are really safe except the precaution what you can follow based on World Health Organization's protocols and each country's specific government rules and regulations. Stay home. Be safe. That's the best protocol what we can give you. Every bigger cities of the world, including Melbourne, Sydney, London, Milan, New York has been absolutely shut. Australian airports, United Kingdom, the airports, Everything has been closed. From today, on M4 Studios in Melbourne, keeping every precaution what the Australian government has given us, we are taking you straight to somewhere into the different part of the world. It's the place of Rafael Nadal, 13 times Grand Slam winner. Everyone knows that. The left-handed backslasher, the greatest tennis player ever in the human history, Rafael Nadal. We are taking you to an island called Mallorca, close to Barcelona, into the beautiful city of Spain, where it has been affected really drastically. The number has crossed 14,000. When I say the number, it's not the medals which they have got in Olympics, but with really broken hearted, let's tell you, it's a number of deaths which the COVID-19 has caused you. Four Australians stuck in a house in a country called Spain in an island of Mallorca close to Barcelona let me take you on let's connect to that Australian welcome Rahul to let's connect from Mallorca hi Fini how's it going very well thanks Rahul thanks for joining us how's you been doing I do understand that the situations have been really really worse how's your things over there things uh, in my opinion, pretty chill going around here. Everyone seems to be thinking that, you know, we're in Spain and there's so much drastic measures being happening. But me and my friends here, we're kind of enjoying us, I guess, the quarantine being under lockdown. But yeah, it's going all good. I'm pretty chill. <laughs> so uh, it's it's how many days you haven't gone out of the home or you're completely locked out? Or is it the same like in situations in Victoria where you can go out sure. if it is essential? How's, this, how's the scenario yeah, in Mallorca? So we've been since I think March 14th, we're just over three weeks now. Uh, and so on that point, level four lockdown, which is the only reason why we can leave the house is for essential activities. So essential meaning only for food, for medicine, or for um, going to the doctors. Apart from that, there's no reason for you to leave the house. So it's much, it's not like um, back in Victoria, how you can leave to go for a walk or something like that. Here is strictly just for food, mainly in my source right now, just for food. That's the only reason to leave the house right now. So it's been, we've been in lockdown for about, yeah, three weeks, just over three weeks now. Whereas we're kind of getting used to it, we could say. I do understand you're not used to the current scenarios, what's been going on, whether it's being state or Spain or whether it's being New York, whether it's being Mumbai or whether it's being Victoria and Melbourne. Everywhere, the scenarios are the same, but keep safe, stay home. That's the precaution what the government has been giving us. So how about you staying with your colleagues, Australian friends in Spain? Do you have your essential products available for your daily living? We do. So we have a general supermarket. So right now, the only places, like I said, was the supermarkets and pharmacies that are open. So to go to the supermarket, it is about from around here, my place is about a five minute walk. So if, if we do go to the supermarket, it is still quite easy to get essential fruit and veg or even just general um, accessories. But there are times where you do walk into the shop and you're like, oh, I want to get, you know, certain um, vegetables or accessories. And at that point, it's not there. 
which isn't too much to panic about, especially being looking back in the situation back in Victoria, as so many people are panic buying and like hoarding stores and being aggressive. Like that's still like I feel like I'm quite lucky that since I'm living on such an east east um, east coast of Mallorca, it's quite a low population, so it's still quite easy to um, purchase essential um, groceries and uh, all, all accessories. Yeah. Okay, so current scenario, you're completely locked down, isolated in the home. Do you have you tried contacting any of? the higher authorities with Australian Embassy or the Consulate General in Spain for any further helps? When when we first went into lockdown, I was quite um, quite quite scared not knowing what the future of this is going to um, happen here. So I was wondering, am I actually going to be able to get back home? And hearing all through the news or like social media, hearing that, oh, you're not going to have um, no Australians are going to be able to get back home. At that point, it was quite a scare, but so at that point, I did contact the um, the embassy, and they said, "Well, you can come back home, or if you don't, if you don't, um, if you don't wish to follow that procedure, um, they advised me to stay within um, the Spanish government and and listen to the instructions and what the embassy say here." So based on that, I decided that me and my four friends, me and my colleagues that I work with, my housemates, we decided to stay here. Because we believe at this point, even at now, it's probably the best situation that we're in right now, as opposed to going back home and being more at a risk. That's true. That's true. You know, it's good to hear that you're being really safe with your home. It's really, we're happy to hear that, you know, even the consulate has tried to help you out in every, mm -hmm. every step, whatever you need. And we are very happy to hear that you have been, you have been really looking every, and you've been listening to the Spanish authorities, what they have been telling you. So would you mind telling our viewers, actually, we have heard that you went to Spain, actually, to be a teacher back in, from Australia, like teaching English uh, to a community. Is that right? That's right. So actually, first before coming to Mallorca, I was actually studying with my friend Bradley, who I um, live with here. We both were studying a semester up in Madrid, and that finished in um, the end of December. And from that, we started me, Bradley, Ruby and Pip, my three um, Negos, you could call them, we decided to apply for this program called the um, English Language Assistant um, Program, Auxilia Ship, which entailed that we would um, apply for this program and would hear back from the, um, uh, the government and they would inform us that we would be a primary school teacher teaching kids English or being a language assistant. So after we finished studying in Madrid, we came to Mallorca and we started, we were all divided into four different schools my school is actually the closest it's actually only a two minute walk from this house which is quite lucky for me i could say and all four of us have been language assistant um, english teachers in yeah, four schools for about two months that was until the start of march so just under two months we were being teachers until all this happened and then all the day um, all of a sudden one day we were told that oh, this is going to be the last time we're going to be teaching for who knows how long a significant period of time which was kind of, you know, kind of shocking and a bummer knowing that we, we, we didn't know when we'd be going back to school and so much more to entail for us, which I'm hoping that there's still a chance, opportunity for me to go back to working. Well, That's really great. So could you, could you explain our viewers, how does, is it Mallorca an island? And what's the population of Mallorca? So everyone thinks of Spain, everyone always thinks of Madrid and Barcelona. So, no, no, I wasn't saying, I was thought, oh, it's only Spain and Madrid as big cities. Yeah. But, but Mallorca is actually one of the four islands of the Balearic Islands. It's called oh. the Isla Balearias, which is the four Balearic Islands, including uh, Mallorca, Menontera, and um, Ibiza, which I'm sure everyone knows about Ibiza, the party island. This year. So these four islands are often considered like party islands, but it's always disregarded um, quite a fair bit. The population of Mallorca is... Um, I know in Porto Cristo, so I live in Porto Cristo, which is on the east coast of um, Mallorca. And here the population is, I believe it's just 9,000, uh, 9,500 of, ju of just the town I'm, compared to other bigger cities um, and uh, islands, which is considered one of the smaller islands. And so uh, with this COVID um, outtake, I guess we're kind of fortunate because all everything that's taking place in Mallorca is actually in the central. So when we're in the East Coast, there's no case reported. So we're quite lucky on that end. But also say that 
the language they speak here is also different to um, Spanish. They call it um, Catalan, which is the language they speak in the district of Catalonia. So similar to Barcelona and here, to speak the same um, Spanish, which is something I found pretty interesting coming here. I always thought they just speak just Spanish and that's it. It's actually differentiated between Catalan and Castellano. I think you should know that for challenge Spain, in my opinion. <laughs> Hmm, I've never heard of that and it's been very, very new for me. I've heard that Spain is being known in Spanish language as Espanol. Am I right? That's right, Espanol, yes. Wonderful, that's really good to hear that, you know. And a small island of 9,500 people. And we are very happy to hear that made you are being safe over there. You know, it was really wonderful joining us into the studio of M4 TV right from Spain where the leading death has crossed 14,000. Being honest, it's very easy to tell sitting over here, don't panic, but all that's what we could do. We could pray for you, keep you in your hearts and say that, stay home, stay safe. What's the best advice from the country, Spain? You have to give it to our viewers. I'd say listen to the government and stay home because everyone, just, like, everyone thinks that staying home is just an option right now. But in my opinion, staying here in Spain, I've realized and being such a close knit community when the government actually says to stay home and the whole and the whole community here actually decides to stick to that opinion, we will make a, we make a change and a drastic effect will happen, which is, which is which has been happening like in the in, in time the government here are actually going to actually maybe not hold us down lockdown like this. They could actually let us out in two weeks to actually go out for non-essential activities like um, going for a walk. As a person in Australia, I think Australia is going to might have that problem, which actually flattened the curve because people don't seem how serious this issue is, right? Continue to go out. But for someone who's stuck, from Australia who's stuck in Spain, stay at home. That's my best That's opinion, I can say. Wonderful, Raul, wonderful. Regards from M4 TV and all from Melbourne and Victoria and Australia to your mates as well, who are being safe at your place where you are. Be Thank safe, you. be Thank keep you. a distance. That's all we could do at this scenario, at this stage when the world is being drastically, drastically affected by COVID-19. All what we could do, there's no medication what we could do, there's no vaccination which we could be vaccinated. All what we could do, stay safe, same home. Thanks a lot for giving us your time with M4TV. Thanks a lot, Rahul. Take care. Bye-bye.